The Goshen College Lavender Jazz Concert was at Ignition Music Garage on Friday, October 4th, for Goshen's October 1st Fridays. Earlier in the week, we talked with the band director, Greg Smucker, on why he chose to invite back alumni for the event. I knew that, uh, that there would be some alumni in town, and then I started thinking about all the uh, former band members, and that goes back to 1970-something, 70 76 maybe. So uh, I started gathering all the names, and it turns out there's over 300 of the uh, alumni. So uh, went, put together a list and started thinking, hey, maybe they'll show up. Smucker also had this to say on the song choices he made for the show. Well, the one maybe most notable one is called Pink Panther, Henry Mancini. And that one was used as an encore for many years. So. That'll be fun. I hope that there are some band members that, uh, former band members that are, are there to, to hear that because that'll be fun. And uh, also some of the more uh, 70s and 60s tunes that, uh, that some of the bands would have been playing. We spoke with alum about their time in Lavender Jazz and how the current ensemble is doing. 1994 alum Chad Harshbarger said this about his favorite memories playing in Lavender Jazz. Always enjoyed packing out Union Union Hall when we played there and um, and the, the tours, we would always go on tour for a week every year and that, that was a blast, always great memories from that. 1994 alum Dean Allstetter had this to say about how the Lavender Jazz Band is doing well and how it brings back good memories of when he was in the group. I just think they sound great this year and um, you know it brings back memories of you know when we were here just coming out of high school. Not, a, not all of us knew how to improvise and uh, just talking to the director, he's, he's got him interested in improvisation and, and some of the, the, the classic quintessential tunes of uh, the jazz era. For Globe News, I'm Jeremiah Sherrill.